Hi YouTube, Bullhorn Betty here. I am and have been following and keeping you guys apprised of the information related to Serenity McKenney. Uh, many of you guys know and heard about this little girl um, in 2021. Um, she was a four-year-old that went missing. Uh, the last time she was seen by her extended family was on um, Christmas Eve of 2022. She wasn't reported missing until more than a year later. In February 2022, K Kentucky State Police found her remains near Jefferson Bullitt County line on February 18, 2022. Uh, Christmas Eve literally was the last time anybody in Serenity's extended family uh, members in the Shelbyville, Kentucky area saw the child. After that, they were in communication with Serenity and her mother, Catherine Abby McKinney, um, until June of 2021, which was the last time they spoke over the phone. Uh, the family um, has been calling law enforcement to do welfare checks on this child, and we're getting no help. Listen to this news clip that I found. More than a month since four-year-old Serenity McKinney was found in a densely wooded area near the Jefferson Bullitt County line. Family tells us the child was last seen December 2020 and last heard on the phone June of 2021. Serenity's mother, Catherine Abby McKinney, and the mother's boyfriend, Dakota Hill, have been charged in the young girl's murder. And we are still waiting on autopsy reports to reveal what happened to Serenity. As Serenity McKinney's family mourns the young girl, new records our focus team received gives us a deeper glimpse into her disappearance and the failed attempts to find the four-year-old. That's right. Two weeks ago, I reported on the concerns from Serenity's family, and they don't believe Kentucky's Child Protective Services did enough for the little girl's safety. I highlighted my request for more transparency in this case, and since then, I received recordings of calls an aunt made to Louisville Dispatch asking for police to check on the little girl's well-being. However, those recordings have created more questions than answers. Um, how would I go about getting a welfare check on a child? Six calls in three days from the aunt of young Serenity McKinney to authorities worried about the four-year-old's safety. In those calls between June 26th and 28th of last year, you can hear how the aunt's questions turn to emotional pleas. The mother refuses to let us see or even hear her on the phone. Um, uh, well, I mean, she's, and um, we're all very concerned for her safety. Did you contact Child Protective Services? I haven't yet. I wanted to try to make contact to get a physical. I wanted a police officer to physically see the child to just have proof of life at this point. I understand, but there's all they can do is knock on the door. If they don't answer, there's nothing they can do. There were two requests for police to lay eyes on Serenity. However, with these call recordings, Louisville police redacted much of the conversation with white noise. So in this June 26 call, it's impossible to know exactly what the aunt was alleging. It's a long story, but nobody has seen or talked to her in six months. Uh, nobody. Um, she refuses to let anybody talk to her, see her, anything because of the controlling boyfriend that she has. And we don't even know if, we don't know what's going on. And I know, and I just want to make sure this baby's okay. After that call and over the three days, the aunt called back for updates. And each time the response was. Okay, it looks like they did not get an answer at the door. So what are police required to do on welfare checks? Well, we went through LMPD's standard operating procedures, and there doesn't appear to be any specific guidance on what to do if a child is never seen. But according to their policies mandated by state law, if an officer suspects any kind of child abuse going on, that officer is required to report it within the department, and that must be relayed to CPS. At this point, we haven't been granted access to those files and don't know whether those reports were ever made. This is very, very disturbing for me um, that we have an aunt of this young child calling saying, hey, we have never heard from her. We need somebody to go out there and check on this child. And nobody would help her. Nobody would help her. January 31st, 2022, that is when um, the police report was filed. After Abby McKinney, remember her mother, stopped a returning family's phone call, her mother and stepfather contacted law enforcement in Shelby County to file a missing person report on both Abby and Serenity on January 31st, 2022. 
it, it, Catherine did not um, did not go missing, as many of you know, and she's not the one that called law enforcement to report her daughter missing. It was actually her mother, Serenity's grandmother. Uh, the, the voice that you just heard on that line was Serenity's aunt. Many of us know that she was, uh, or remains of a, that were consistent with a four-year-old girl were found in Kentucky. Um, those reports were just released. And as many of us had thought, the autopsy did confirm that those remains were Serenity McKinney. Any new details tonight in a case we've been following for months about a four-year-old girl. Serenity McKinney was first reported missing in February. Not long after remains believed to have been hers were found in a wooded area. The DNA results took months, but today the Bullock County coroner confirmed the remains were Serenity McKinney's. Her cause of death has not been released. The coroner says that information will come from a final report at a later date. Several months ago, Serenity's mother, Catherine McKinney, and her mother's boyfriend, Dakota Hill, were charged with murder. They're both in the Bullock County Jail. So, you know, we did kind of come to grips with her death in February, but it really kind of hits home now. Anyways, guys. Just wanted to update you on the case. I'm very sorry. I know many of us get very emotional in each of these cases that we deal with, but please know that we are fighting for these children, uh, not just on YouTube, but much further and much bigger and broader than that. We are really seeking change in the welfare laws in and around this country and all the alphabet soups of child welfare agencies throughout our country. So God bless each and every one of you. Please don't forget to tell the people in your life that you love them and that you care for them. Sometimes that's all they need to hear. God bless.